It reads in 1 Thessalonians 5.18 Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. All circumstances. Really? Yes, all of them. The good times, the bad times, and the really clinging to God times. Remember that according to the wisdom of Solomon in Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8, there is a time for everything. And we can't go on blaming the devil for every difficult circumstance we experience as believers. Let's face it, sometimes life just happens. But we can know that God is sovereign and able to use all the seasons of our lives for his purposes. While I would never pray hardships over anyone, as I have and will have afflictions myself, God is our deliverer. It says in Psalm 34, 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. And he works all things out for our good. It says in Romans 8, 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. By faith, we can be thankful even in our pain and heartbreak, knowing that God's first priority is shaping us like a master potter into the likeness of his son, Jesus. Beloved, our faith doesn't always take away the pain we're going through, but knowing God intimately through his word and having the mind of Christ helps us trust that God is in control of our circumstances. He will walk with us through the valleys and miraculously use these hard times to shape our character. As Isaiah 64, 8 confirms, but now, O Lord, thou art our father. We are the clay and thou our potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. In fact, in our spirit, we can have joy as our strength when we declare the word of God over our difficult circumstances. This is James 1, 2 to 4, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Pure joy like this is only possible as we meditate on God's truth day and night and allow the Holy Spirit to illuminate it in our hearts. Ultimately, if we want our circumstances to make sense, we must see them through the lens of God's word. And then God receives all the glory through any and all of the circumstances we go through. Which brings us to this awesome encouragement today from Jesus. Jesus was a man familiar with suffering, who is now seated at the Father's right hand, exalted in heaven forever. Dear brethren, here it is. John 15, 7 to 8. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Hallelujah.